Bedi has been India's first and highest woman ranking officer, having joined the Indian police service in 1972. Her expertise includes more than 35 years of creative and reformative policing and prison management. She worked with the United Nations in New York as the police advisor to the Secretary General and in the Department of Peacekeeping Operations. She represented India in international forums on crime prevention, drug abuse, police prison reform, and women's issues. She has addressed audiences at the American, British, European, Indian universities, corporate, and civil society groups. Recently, she was at ITV Gold Studios, and our ITV Gold correspondent, Nidhi Kathuria, had a chance to talk to her. Whole interview will be aired soon on ITV Gold. Right now, let's watch some highlights. Oh, just have to read the Wikipedia. You but just but your personal experiences, you know, from your mouth. Well, there's a biography also in my life called I Dare, uh, which uh, documents entirely the police career and also has uh, chapters uh, which uh, talk about my parents and my mm -hmm. sister and my upbringing. So that would be really helpful because, and it's available on Kindle, so you don't have to wait mm -hmm. to be in India to buy it. Wow. <laughs> you can get it on Kindle and you can, um, it, it's available on my websites as well. Mm -hmm. I actually do also put my soft copies on my website for people to download. The royalties of all my working goes to my two foundations, mm -hmm. the India Vision Foundation and the Navjoti India Foundation, which have been running. You, saw, you said I was a social activist. I thought I'd share with you the um, working in the voluntary sector as a non-profit organization started with me in my life 35 years ago. And while I was serving in the Indian police, I founded these foundations to educate actually the hapless people, the marginalized sections mm -hmm. of society, children who were out of school. Mm -hmm. Today, many of them are teachers today and professionals. Wow. So as far as the policing career is concerned, it's been a long career. Mm -hmm. I joined the Indian Police Service uh, in 1972 when I became the first woman in India to join so. It's not that there were many women who didn't want to join earlier, mm -hmm. but except that the government of India shooed them away, saying, it's not for women. Go. How did you convince them? Well, I told them, you don't have a choice because <laughs> I qualified, I qualified mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, it was my first preference. Mm -hmm. They had to give it to me. Of course. But then I was determined to take it. They couldn't send me away. Mm -hmm. I was already an Asian tennis champion at that time. Yes. So they knew this uh, champion is here who's not going to give up, uh, will, will win, will win. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what happened. I was mm -hmm. called by the Union Home Minister to change my mind. Oh. Yeah, it was. It was there. Wow. And I remember then Union Home Minister, Mr. K.C. Panth, Mm -hmm. He called me to New Delhi. I was already tr in training in Masuri mm -hmm. Academy after uh, joining the service. And he said, uh, Kiran, don't you, let's understand what it means. Mm. I said, yes, I understand what it means. Mm. It can't be tougher than my tennis. So, <laughs> <laughs> but won't you train me, sir? Won't the mm. National Police Academy train mm. me? Mm. Yes, of course we will. So mm. he says, okay, then go ahead, enjoy the lati charges and dispersal of crowds and mm. fighting terrorists and criminals. Mm -hmm. I said, I can do that. I was also an NCC cadet, mm -hmm. four years running, very, very passionate cadet. I was already in uniform AC, as a cadet. Wow. So I enjoyed my uh, uniform. Mm. For me, life has been so many uniforms. Mm. A tennis uniform, which is tennis mm. kit. Then sports kit, which is this. And then come, came the NCC kit, NCC mm -hmm. uniform, and then came the IPS. Mm. So I think it's been a life of uniform. You earned the nickname Crane Bedi after you bagged a sub-inspector who towed away a VIP's car, which happened to be Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's car. Did you earn Mrs. Gandhi's respect or anger at that point? You were both the first. She was the first woman Prime Minister and you were the first woman IPS officer. How was your relationship with her? It was very cordial, very respectful, very, mm -hmm. so, a lot of mutual admiration. Mm -hmm. I had some very, very good uh, feelings for her and she also had very good special feelings. She invited me for breakfast. How lovely. And uh, whenever um, VIPs came from outside, mm -hmm. she would specially s extend an invitation to me mm -hmm. to say, here's our first woman of the Indian police service. Present and look his way. Look, we are this far. We're not just politically, of but course. we're also professionally. 
Mm-hmm. So I, I attended quite a few. She had a very, uh, very, very caring role for me. She had a very mm-hmm. good feeling. We used mm-hmm. to, sh- uh, anyway, I, and I did a while f- uh, with her security also. Mm-hmm. So therefore I was quite close watching her speak mm-hmm. and my, I doing my duties, mm-hmm. she would walk by. So we would greet each other on a regular basis. Mm-hmm.